Hey, it's Crypto Bobby, and today I want to talk to you about the upcoming Bitcoin forks, both Segwit2x as well as Bitcoin Gold. Um, what I think about both forks, how I plan on playing um, both forks from an overall investment perspective, or my initial plans now of kind of what my strategy is going forward, and how I plan on being weighted in my overall portfolio percentage wise with Bitcoin versus the altcoins, because the altcoins have taken a dip, uh, a pretty considerable dip in the past couple of weeks, while Bitcoin is obviously soared. So I want to talk about um, that aspect of things as well. Now, if you are new to the channel, I do daily recorded videos on the subject of cryptocurrency as well as crypto happy hour. Um, today, I'm actually coming to you in the absolute most stereotypical um, YouTube blogger basement dweller perspective actually in the parents basement i obviously um, if you watch any other videos i don't actually live at my parents anymore but traveling on the traveling on the road right now uh, i want to get you this guy want to get you this content so i don't give a crap if it's in uh traveling on a hotel for work in my parents basement uh as the you know, prototypical basement blogging crypto dweller or anywhere else but let's hop into it today so bitcoin is if, unless you've been living under a rock, Bitcoin is is having two hard forks uh, or two forks in the near future, both uh, Bitcoin Gold and Bitcoin Segwit 2x. Now, companies and exchanges and individuals, I think, are playing these forks in very different manners. There's a lot of political motivations around them. I'm going to start off by saying quickly, Bitcoin Gold to me is much lesser of a uh, it's it's a lot lesser of a deal than in my mind, Bitcoin Segwit 2x or B2x or whatever we want to say is. Um, Bitcoin Gold seems like a pretty rushed uh, development and pretty almost like a cash grab opportunity for some of these people with not a lot of not a lot of strong public, not a lot of, I, I just don't get the greatest feeling about Bitcoin Gold. Uh, and I, I'm going to talk about why, and I think a lot of other companies don't have a great feeling about Bitcoin Gold. Not saying that it can't last, not saying that it can't increase in value, but with that being said, let's talk a little bit about Bitcoin Gold. And then, I, But going into that too, Segwit2x, in my opinion, um, while I am not confident on Segwit2x, I'm not a big Segwit2x proponent, I think value-wise, the, the split with Segwit2x is going to have more value from a uh, from an overall money perspective than than you'll see with with Bitcoin gold obviously so let's hop into it too as far as what's going on with what's going on with with Bitcoin gold first and then segwit 2x as well so for me looking at there were a couple different statements recently uh, first there was coinbase and coinbase came out and they had a blog about at least within the coinbase support about the Bitcoin gold facts I will link fact i will link that in the description so you can take a read at that for people that are holding bitcoin on coinbase and are curious about bitcoin gold so first of all too before we even hop into that if you are holding crypto on an exchange during these forks you always want to have control of your private keys um, whether or not some some exchanges will support like coinbase some exchanges will support some of these forks some exchanges of the exchanges won't support these forks, but they're they're choosing that option for you. So if you want to have the right to choose what you want to do with those forks, how fast you want to do things, you want to control your private keys, whether that's on a hardware wallet, whether that's on a you know full desktop node, whatever it might be, you want to be fully in control. So I would recommend moving your at least for the time being, move your moving your crypto moving your bitcoin off of an exchange like coinbase for the time being onto somewhere where you control the private keys so you can determine your access to um you can con control your access to these forks as you so choose now bitcoin gold has come out and said some pretty and that's so, excuse me uh coinbase has come out and said some pretty not so great things about bitcoin gold uh basically saying that there is a lot of ambiguity around Bitcoin Gold, there they have concerns about security. They have concerns about um, a, a lack of publicly available code, calling that a major security risk. They will only really choose to. They're going to continue to monitor Bitcoin Gold and say if the network is both secure and valuable, they may support it at a later date. But 
Coinbase and GDAX, because GDAX is obviously part of Coinbase, will not sell or keep the Bitcoin gold uh, associated with the customer itself. Any Bitcoin gold will remain securely stored on Coinbase. And then if they want to, to choose to support it in the future, then maybe you'll be allowed to withdraw it in the future following the fork. So basically, if you have your Bitcoin on Coinbase right now, um, you're not going to have access to your Bitcoin gold and you might never have access to your Bitcoin gold and Coinbase is just going to keep it in, in a wallet somewhere and until they, they deem it safe enough or, or whatever to, you know, to, to utilize. So basically, you can't do anything. There's nothing you can do unless you want to move your money off of, of, of Coinbase. On the other side of the house, Bittrex came out with a statement on Bitcoin gold and said, we are going to credit your, and again, I'll link to this in the, the, the YouTube description or in the podcast description if you're listening to this on the podcast. Basically, Bittrex came out with a pretty uh, aggressive statement, which is kind of funny, but they said they're going to credit you your Bitcoin gold on a one-to-one -one basis. So if you have one Bitcoin, you're going to get one Bitcoin gold. Uh, they're going to credit you that, but because of the following reasons, they because Bitcoin Gold doesn't have fully formed consensus code, no implemented replay protection, they don't have adequate code for testing and auditing, and they do not have publicly known code developers, as well as the fact that they had a pre-mine of about 100,000 Bitcoin Gold, that they will not be opening up a market for Bitcoin Gold. So you will not be able to, you're going to get your Bitcoin Gold from Bittrex, but it sounds like you're only going to be able to withdraw them to either a Bitcoin Gold wallet or to another exchange. Uh, if you uh, if you want, you won't be able to actually trade your Bitcoin Gold on Bittrex because they do not feel comfortable opening up a Bitcoin Gold market. So I think that's a pretty big statement because Bittrex was very quick to open up a Bitcoin Cash uh, Bitcoin Cash market. So not great things from Bitcoin Gold so far. I'm sure companies are going to allow. I'm sure companies, I'm sure other exchanges, some of the smaller exchanges that aren't afraid to take a little bit more risk in, uh, in exchange for getting more volume and making more money are going to you know, not be afraid to, to put forth and, and open up a Bitcoin gold market as soon as they possibly can. But Coinbase is, is pretty much out of the question per usual, but even something as, as large as Bittrex uh, is, is not going to be doing that. So interesting enough, Bitcoin gold came out with a statement that really didn't say all that much other than... They said that the the fork has um, just really regarding the fork and, and when that's going to happen on October 25th is kind of when they have said that. Uh, so that's that's something that you can and again, I'll link to this in the YouTube description for me personally, and I'll, I'll hop into how I'm going to play this um, and what I'm going to do about it. But so that's that's Bitcoin gold. Not, not a lot of, of community support so far. Uh, not a lot of great, I would say, kind of, you just don't get a, I don't get a real big warm and fuzzy feeling from Bitcoin Gold. So I'm going to talk about that after I get through Segwit 2X. So Segwit 2X on the other side of the house is much more, I mean, you could do a lot of research on Segwit 2X, so I don't want to cover it uh, and beat it, beat it to death, beat it over the head. But Segwit 2X is very much pushed on seems to be pushed on by the overall businesses backing Bitcoin. And you know, whether it's companies like Coinbase, who I, I actually happen to like, but they do support Segwit2x, whether it's um, you know, like Vinny Lingham, the guy behind Civic, uh, a, lot of, a lot of companies out there are backing Segwit2x. Basically, they got into a room in New York, put together the New York agreement, and chose to double the block size, enable Segwit to, you know, enable Segwit and double the block size uh, and increase the block size even more beyond that. And there's not, quite frankly, there is not a significant amount of user support. Uh, there really isn't a strong consensus from the Bitcoin users. So, but it looks like the the people that want to, to go forth with Segwit 2X are going to, you know, go forth regardless. Right now, there are a few different places where you can actually trade Futures on Segwit2x and the futures of, of Segwit2x have, have actually dove quite a bit recently, uh, but there are a few different places where you can tra trade futures of Segwit2x. Now, due to the lack of due to the lack of overall consensus, and I feel like what a lot of people view as companies speaking for them and companies kind of talking 
basically companies talking for them and that being beyond the spirit of of bitcoin i think that there are a lot of, of people out there that are not super positive on on segwit 2x and again too i am not a fan of i'm not a fan of just the overall confusion of bitcoin and just kind of the, the lack of i think it's just damaging to the overall bitcoin brand like you have you already have bitcoin now you have bitcoin cash which is damaging enough and in, in in my opinion, um, just because, you know, you don't, you just can't tilt the logo, throw cash in the end of it and say, Hey, we got a new coin. Um, and now you're going to have Bitcoin two X or Segwit two X or, you know, B two X or whatever you call it. And that you're essentially going to have three different Bitcoins. Um, so I don't think that that's great overall for the brand. And I don't like the way that they're doing that. But in a lot of cases, if you have Bitcoin, you're going to get Bitcoin two X or B two X, whatever you want to call. So, so what should you do with it? What am I going to do with it? Well, um, Adam Back, who is one of the uh, you know one of the developers around Bitcoin and works uh, works at Blockstream, uh, the CEO of Blockstream, asked a question, and this is I'll, I'll refresh this actually to see from a votes perspective what the votes have been. So he asked, you know, mid mid November, Bitcoin two X fork happens what is your what is your trading strategy right now what is your trading strategy right now on that and this is what i answered and this is my strategy and i'm going to get into it a little bit more right now but there's a couple different options and 52 percent of people the majority of people granted it's you know it's only 339 votes and this is the you know founder of blockstream so you know, in a lot of cases, this could be an echo chamber of the exact same people and you follow Adam back because you have a similar mindset to Adam back and whatever. So let's take everything with a grain of salt. But this is going to be my strategy and it's really wait and I'm going to be selling Bitcoin, my B2X, uh, the vast majority. Maybe I'll keep a tiny bit as just as a, as a moonshot play, but I plan on selling the vast majority of my B2X back into Bitcoin. Um, and... With that being said, I plan on increasing my Bitcoin. I plan on utilizing B2X to increase my Bitcoin stack even more. Um, I think that is what a lot of people are are looking to, whether they are going to be selling B2X and moving it into altcoins or selling, um, selling B2X and moving it into Bitcoin. I'm going to be doing the latter. I'm going to be selling both Bitcoin Gold and B2X back into Bitcoin and increasing my Bitcoin stack because I think you know I have right now I'll go into my overall holdings perspective right now I have about 50% in Bitcoin about 15% in Ethereum uh, and then the other 35% or so in some random altcoins uh, like Civic like Omise Go OMG as well as uh, as well as Chainlink and then Manitha which I'm just waiting to sell my bags on Manitha so those are the overall, that's my overall portfolio right now. But right now I'm still very heavily weighted in Bitcoin. I still think it could potentially have some room to run. The forks haven't happened yet. And I do think what is going to happen or what could potentially happen is that people will wait for these forks to happen. They're going to continue to hold Bitcoin for these forks to happen. And then I feel like there's going to be a good majority of people out there like me that are simply going to, they're not confident in Bitcoin gold and they're not very confident in B2X or Bitcoin Segwit 2X or whatever you want to call it. And they're going to sell that crypto back into Bitcoin. They're going to take free money and just use it to buy more Bitcoin. And that in turn could potentially, it doesn't necessarily mean it. It did with Bitcoin cash. It absolutely did with Bitcoin cash, but it could raise the price of Bitcoin even further because you're basically getting free money and you're increasing the demand for Bitcoin and you're pushing the price up as you're trying to get in those orders on Bitcoin and pushing that price up with those forked coins, both with Bitcoin gold as well as with B2X. So I anticipate potentially, I think there's there's kind of two different, a couple different ways that people are thinking. People are thinking, okay, we're going to hold Bitcoin and then the second this fork happens, I'm just going to move a bunch of things into the altcoins and I'm, I'm really jacked up about altcoins. Or alternatively, I think that you can continue to leverage these forks as a way to just increase your Bitcoin holdings. And that's what I'm doing. Uh, that's that's my plan into the future. I don't think I don't. Who knows on the future of Bitcoin gold? I'm not super positive on the future of Bitcoin gold. So we'll see who knows in the future of B2X. I'm not super positive on it. So we'll see. 
I'm going to use that opportunity as free money, as a dividend to buy back more into Bitcoin. You know, you can certainly do whatever you'd like to do there, uh, but that's going to be my strategy for the near term going for the near term going forward over the next, you know, as these forks play out. A lot of people have already started to say that, you know, now we've hit the bottom of altcoins. We've hit, this is, you know, this is it. This is the, the best buying opportunity for altcoins. It's time to, to buy in. I, I have a good amount of exposure, as I said previously, to I have about 35% non-Bitcoin, non-Ethereum. I have about 50% altcoins and Ethereum. If we want to consider Ethereum and altcoin, I have about 50% Bitcoin, 50% altcoins, or like I said, 50% Bitcoin, 15% Ethereum, and then 35% a kind of jumble of, of a couple different altcoins there. I don't know if the a lot of people are... are in, on Twitter right now, reaching out, and I've been asking people about what their thoughts are on how they're really how they're they're playing this fork a little bit more. And I'll, I'll pop over to my Twitter here, and we can take a look at it. Uh, so I posed this question the other night in a little bit more detail, and I asked, you know, if people are more heavily weighted right now in Bitcoin, or if they're buying altcoins on the dip, because Bitcoin has, if you haven't been aware, we can look at the Bitcoin dominance. The Bitcoin dominance chart has been pretty remarkable to see uh, over the past. Let's pop this up. So let's just say over the past three months, there was a point in time where Bitcoin was down to about 44% in terms of the overall market capitalization dominance and is now back up to over 58% or over 58%. So Bitcoin has been continually eating up market share while a lot of the other, while Ethereum has gone down in market share, the Ethereum ratio has not been great. Uh, additionally, a lot of the other, a lot of the other altcoins have not really held their weight as much. I mean, Bitcoin's market dominance was down as far as 37% back in mid June when Ethereum had its big run, uh, when the the whole Ethereum flipping conversation was happening. There was almost a there's almost a time in a, in a period where Ethereum was almost more valuable than Bitcoin. Uh, and that trend has just continued from since mid June. I mean, you could see that here that has gone from that has gone from almost a, a, a complete flipping of Bitcoin being worth or Ethereum being worth more than Bitcoin. And that has just gone in the total opposite direction, where Bitcoin has really eaten up market share. Now, I don't know if I, I know a lot of people you know, in in Twitter uh, are saying they're very much buying into to into altcoins right now and, and buying on this dip. I don't know if the dip is over yet. I'm going to for me, I'm going to continue to ride some of this Bitcoin momentum upwards, I think until I'm proven until the market proves other way until really the market proves otherwise for me. I think that at least over the next month or so with this Bitcoin fork, you, know, you could see the you could see a continued run in Bitcoin, especially as more people are buying Bitcoin to get an opportunity for basically a free dividend. And then especially if rather than putting their money back in alts, they buy more Bitcoin with their Bitcoin 2x or with their Bitcoin gold. That from just an overall like macro perspective is kind of what I'm thinking about my strategy and how I'm, I'm potentially going to be leveraging things in the future. I would really be interested in hearing from your perspective on how you plan on playing these forks. Are you, do you even care about the Bitcoin forks at all? Uh, Cause that's number one. You might be when it comes down to it, I think right now, I mean, you might be getting 15% perhaps on your B2X or, or your Segwit 2X B2X might be worth about 10, 15% of one Bitcoin right now. So is that even worth the potential returns for you to be out of the altcoins? Are you even in Bitcoin right now playing these forks? Or are you 100% in altcoins? And then if you are in Bitcoin, how are you playing these forks? Are you planning on holding for the long term? Are you planning on selling after the forks? What is your overall strategy? I would love to hear it in the comments. So that would be fantastic to hear as well. Now, outside of that, guys, if you are new to the channel, like I said, I do daily videos on the subject of cryptocurrency. Um, so if you are new to the channel, 
please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate that. I also plan, if you're watching this on, I don't even know today's date, Sunday, October 22nd, I do plan on doing a crypto happy hour, live crypto happy hour this evening, probably around 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. So hit that notify button so you get notified when that happens. I will put out some advance notice of that, but I do plan on going live tonight to talk about the fork in a little bit more detail. What's happened in the past week or so? What might happen in the next week from a Bitcoin, from an Ethereum, from an overall altcoin perspective? And just answer all your questions and probably have a few beers with you guys uh, after the New York Jets game because there's one break from crypto. It's Penn State football and it's New York Jets. So it's going to happen. So apologies on that, guys. But yeah, after the Jets game tonight, I definitely want to hop into crypto happy hour and crypto live. If you are watching this on the 22nd, Definitely hit that subscribe button and the notify button so you get notified of that and would love to hear your comments on overall just market thoughts of where you think things might be going um, in the future and how you're playing these forks as well. So thank you guys so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Crypto Bobby signing out. Peace.